reseal this area. I did lose a light. I lost one of these lights one time while traveling. This second one in. Ordered a new one right away and replaced it. Um, no issues with that. I might have been going down inside. I suppose before I go down inside, I did not. I did not show you the thing above the refrigerator where all the, I think the heat comes out of above the refrigerator. And I guess that would not be right for me to go down showing you that because I don't want to hide anything here so this is all sealed up real nice and all that seal that they put on there is incredible no issues with this thing. a little dusty under there that's about it Damage from the hail. Very minimal. I mean, there's no cracks in the in these sinks. I mean, yeah, this has crack on that corner there. This chip is missing out. It's I don't know about the size of you know, inch and a half by inch and a half. But no, if there was hail damage and they got damage or something like that, they replaced it. Alright, now I'm going down. Okay, no pets, no smoking. Oh, I forgot to latch my drawer. I'm taking my shoes off because uh, it's clean. I should have turned all the lights on right away. So I did have an issue with this drawer very minor issue was uh, when my wife and I got it this little button pulled off out of the screw so I stuck toothpicks inside the button along with some glue and turned it back onto the screw just like how I fix all the other handles and now it stays in there that was it that's the only issue I had with this camper which this is very nice. I'm going to turn on some lights here. And you see, oh, I see my light is on. Hood light. I did put um, LEDs in most of these lights. I think I did not put LEDs, I think, in that light. I don't think I put LEDs. And I did not put LEDs in the fluorescent light up there. This thing has a fantastic fan. Open it up. It comes on. Excuse me. I'll a better picture. Open this up. It comes on. It's thermostatically controlled so you can turn it thermostatically control. High, medium, low. High, medium, low and off. Okay, the only problem with this fan, nothing's wrong with the fan, but there's a crack. And it's hard to see with the light. Okay, there's a crack. Right there on the housing and this one busted off so that's that with that crack um, there's no I was gonna turn on the light but there's no grease under the hood this hood is clean 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 there's no grease up there uh, did I lie? Well, there might be a little bit of grease right there. Yeah, it's a little sticky. So there's a little bit of grease right there that I miss from washing, but it's not grease soaked. All right, everything's clean. There's a little bit of wear, or there is wear, I should say, maybe not a little bit. There's wear here where the heat, where it heats up, and some back here and some back here. Now, I have not looked at how, um, let me see, let's do the front one. Oh, I, the gas is off. I, I showed you the gas tanks, they're off. But this one lights when I turn the gas on and turn the sparker. This one lights just fine. For some reason, these back two do not light 
I did not investigate at all why, whether they're not getting gas or whether the sparker wire to the back ones is not working. So that is one issue. Um, if it's just the wire, sparker wire, I'm sure they would light with um, a match. Um, if it's the gas, then I have to investigate further, but it's just a tube running back there with maybe a regulator, I suppose. I don't know if the oven's ever been used. It's clean. Clean, 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 clean. Um, the sink is clean. Normal wear in the sink after 15 years, you know. I suppose you could do scotch bright or something. Let me see, was there issues? Any issues? This is the smart fridge. It's an intelligent refrigerator. Um, I was going to point out, I pointed out these two cracks. And then in the bathroom, I guess, it's a very nice bathroom, clean. We don't shower in the bathroom. It still smells new. I mean, sure, we use the bathroom. We don't shower in it. Turn the pump on. Water pump. Must have pressure already. And you hear the pump come on. I turn the uh, hot water heater on, or, but um, the gas is disconnected. The, uh, let me see, monitor. And it's kind of not focused. There we go. Battery is fair, so I should probably plug this thing in. Um, so if it's just sitting all the time and you don't disconnect your battery, I'm gonna turn this pump off. Well, I'll turn, leave the pump on and flush the toilet for you. So you flush the toilet back here. So if you leave this the battery on all the time, the unit just sits. There's a, a carbon monoxide tester here. Um, I believe the smoke alarm, which works, I pushed it yesterday, and loud, and I think there's another unit. Is it back here? That unit there, I don't know if that's a carbon monoxide also. So these, those do draw electricity. Um, you want to disconnect your battery if you're not using it, otherwise your battery will drain out. Um, water heater, excuse me, water pump off. Microwave works very nice. No issues with the microwave. Okay, I wanted to show you an issue in the bathroom, and this issue is extremely minor. That this little, what do you call that? Some type of, I don't know, it hides the screws behind that bars. So that's coming up, comes out a little bit there. Those things shrink after time. Here it's coming out a little bit also. I haven't, I'm not pushed those in there, I just left them like that. You know, sometimes you start messing with them, they just get more and more. So if you do push that in there, it just separates more, and here's where the splice comes together. That splice opened up about a half, excuse me, inch and a half. That's the only issue in here. It's nice and warm. I see my hood vents a little dirty. This does have a crack in the housing right here hardly anything just a crack there it's getting warm in here very nice clean it's not really dirt that's just a splice so Sometimes an illusion, nice clean. There's a little bit of dirt under there. I suppose where the washcloth misses sometimes. It gets winterized all the time in the winter. We live in Minnesota. There's a tall rack on the back of the door, which is nice. Someone, the previous owner, made this little 
block of wood here to hold the wire out. And a full size mirror on the outside of the door, bathroom door, which is nice. I don't know if there's anything else that was wrong with this. Big closet. There's no holes in the wall. You know, we didn't punch any holes in the wall to hang things up. Uncle Eddie or nothing like that. And they did put a command hook right here. I think we hung our fly swatter up there. Or maybe it was down there where we hung our fly swatter. But there's no holes in the wall. Um, and there's a screw right here where we put our clock. Everything's empty now. Everything's in very nice shape. All the knobs work. The furnace furnace works. I think this controls the furnace, the gas furnace, and um, you would control this unit up here. Let me see. I don't think there's any issues up here. I've seen these where these hampers have been caved in. This one is not caved in. It works very nice. That's, that's the cover for this unit, which um, they call is the, uh, the escape hatch. So that would be your insulation cover, part of the all weather package. Another door up there, no issues with that. Those lights are, are not LED, those are regular incandescent bulbs in there, incandescent bulbs. Um, there's no issues, very nice television I bought. <laughs> heck of a time looking for a TV for this unit. I ended up going to Best Buy and getting one of their nice, what is that, 15, 15 or 17 inches across there. But, very nice unit. <clears throat> no issues with the slide outs. Racking, they work just fine. I have uh, a little, there's a little bit of scrape right here. You know, otherwise there's no the door. Well, there's a little bit of scrape right there too, where the but the door's not all beat up. Oh, speaking of beat up door, I have to make sure that this is tight to hold the frit or excuse me, hold the TV back because this corner did come along and beat up this cabinet right here. There you can see it. If I don't point that out to you, you probably wouldn't see it because. It's very hard to notice, but it did get, you know, this was loose and traveling down the road, it beat that up a little bit. Um, I don't know if there's any other issues, I mean, with the camper at all. I'm trying to think of the emails I sent out where I said, oh, there's an issue. There's a board, this is a nice board, it's a, uh, you can take this board out and set it from here to here, so you have additional counter space. You'd have additional counter space right there. And of course it matches the decor, matches this. So after 15 years, this is in really good shape. You know, it's not all, all weathered and beat to heck. You know, there's a little bit of weathering on there, but it doesn't seem 15 years old. The pump works fine. It's got little scrapes on the paint here. I, we keep our pots and pans down here. Um, that's just to cover, I don't know, covers the hoses and stuff so they don't get entangled in your pots and pans. There's a filter on the pump, on the water pump. Here's your water pump. It does have the winterizer valve. Very easy to winterize. You take this hose, stick it in your RV antifreeze, turn on your Turn on the pump and the faucet. In 15 minutes, you're done, which is nice. There's no leaks or nothing like that. I've never had an issue with the converter. Um, so that one day, I I replaced the the 
the valve on the hot water heater. Um, the day that that happened, I just I just bypassed the hot water heater and we continued camping without hot water, no big deal. No issues in here. I don't know what this is. This is dust. You know what? I think we had a we had a um, air freshener sitting here. Just because sometimes we're air freshener freaks. I see there's a these little wooden buttons. There's a button missing out of this one here because the one over here has three buttons on it so there's a button missing these are access the outside and it's that's the truck right there we're because we're inside the back of the truck it's got one on the left excuse me one on the left one on the right and the one in the center comes down to be a nice little step. Take it up in the bed, so you can step, 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 up in the bed. Queen size inner spring mattress. AM FM cassette player. Antenna crank. I don't know. Nice doors. They're like oak. Oak. I, I'm sure they're like oak veneer. I don't, know. I don't know if they'd be solid oak. This thing would be really heavy if they were solid oak, but maybe they are. I mean, this is a Lance camper. Lance, Lance is a nice, nice company. Um, no other issues. Table slides back and forth real nice. There's storage compartment underneath. This thing slides up. You can take that pole out if you want. There's a crank for the jacks for emergencies if the jacks don't work electronically. Which I keep the controller here. I actually keep the controller there. It works real nice. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. No other issues with this unit. Refrigerator is clean, clean, clean. Very large freezer, probably four cubic foot freezer maybe. your window privacy curtain there's another privacy curtain up here that if you look in the pictures I think I have it closed in, the, in some of them I don't know what else I could tell you the floor there's no marks in the floor no rips no tears Underneath here, I thought I saw some, I think I saw a splice under here, but it's a little dirtier. I guess I didn't wipe that part out, but but that's where the workers put it to assemble the unit. You know, they do what they do to. Otherwise, there's no rips and tears or nothing like that in this floor. It's very nice linoleum. down here, I might as well show you this here. This is the... Never had an issue with these fuses. Never had an issue with these fuses. You got 110 or 120 fuses and then your 12 volt.
did have it plugged into the garage. I was testing out the heater in that unit and it tripped my 15 amp fuse in my garage. That was it. Um, I suppose because this one's set up on a 20 amp or 30 amp or something like that. So my garage was not able to handle it. I turn this off, uh, hood light. I don't know this. I got put LED lights in here, and you can't really see it, but this one's a little bit duller than this one. I don't know why, but no big deal. It's. I don't think that the. Fantastic fan. You can either shut it off, or if you spin this down, I suppose I could have showed you. The fan shuts off because there's a switch on there. It's got a temperature control, so if it gets cool enough in here, it shuts off. If it gets too warm, it turns on all by itself when the hood is open. It's fantastic. Fans are incredible. They're fantastic. Light. Back door. Oh, it has exterior lights. The switches are down by the door. I suppose so you can open the door and turn them on really easy. Left, right, and rear. You can power the jacks, turn the jacks on right here. So then you can use the remote control. Um, I think I've showed you everything in the camper with the bottle opener. I told you about the stove, the lighting. I don't have a match on me. Of course, the I don't have the uh, tanks connected because I'm bringing the one in. I'm bringing the one tank to get filled. There's the little furnace. Never had an issue with this furnace. I don't know if I've ever opened this up. You know, we don't, we don't winter camp, so... Uh, I'd like to winter camp. We don't winter camp. Look at that. Turns on all by itself. That wood. Looks like it has a little 6 amp fuse on it. Or 5 amp fuse. And now this is ducted, so, so we got a duct blown out here. We have the ducks. Um, there's a duck in the bathroom, duck work in the bathroom for it. And there's duck work in the holding tanks underneath. This holding tank is your fresh water behind, behind there is your fresh water. Um, I would assume that that is, has heat duct to it also. And there's some um, duck work back up here. Let me see, is it there? Oh, there it is. Up in the, up there for the bed area. No leaks, no pets, no children, no smoking. Very, very clean unit. I doubt you'll find a cleaner one. I see that this is Oh, it's just this dust on there. No holes. Two thousand Lance ten ten.